Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm about to start on this 37 Ford sedan. This is the one that I got from Tony Lancer. And since I had two, I can build one. Yay. Yeah, I know I've got an issue. Um, so yeah, I've been eyeballing this one. I have two. I have the other reveal kit right there. The other 37 Ford, the coupe. I don't have two of those. So I can't build it. But I finally got that second one. And I went ahead and opened it up, checked it out. Not really, but um, yeah, going to be a cool car. 37 Ford. I always like 37 Fords. I really like the way the grill looks and it, they always have those like vents on the side of the hood. It's pretty cool. So I've already got this thing open and like out of the bags and haven't inspected it at all. Not one bit. But just right off the bat, I'd say it's like it's going to be a good one. Very nice. Yeah, I think this is going to be a... This is going, I think it's got a Chevy. Yeah, it does. It has a Chevy. With an automatic transmission. You know, if you notice... I don't know if you do notice, but most transmissions are standards that come with with model kits but this is a um an automatic transmission i guess what i don't i'm not up to snuff on what a 350 or a 400 do they look exactly the same but that looks like that's probably what that's supposed to be turbo 400 or turbo 350 but this is going to be nice it's going to build up good Not too terribly complicated as far as parts go. This one also has, so that Ravel, um, or was it Monogram? The Monogram, the 55 here, as well as the 55 panel, both have, um, this not, it doesn't look the same, but it's both of them have this independent rear almost looks like a Corvette rear and it's got like drive shafts instead of um, uh, CV axles or whatever but it's an independent rear drive system that's interesting it has some nice looking little shorty headers dumped off into some pipes it even has the bolts you can't see that but there are actually little bolts that are holding the flanges together and the running boards I guess that's what that is I mean, this is really nice. It's got speakers in the back. Got speakers. Got some super nice door panels. Wow. Man. This thing even has... I wish this... Sometimes I have. To, I need to use my other camera for, for a sake of being able to zoom in. But on the starter here, it's even got a little... It's got a little linkage. Little bitty thing like that would attach the solenoid to the Bendix drive or whatever, I suppose, right there. Dang it, you'd never see that. I wonder why they do things like that sometimes. Just like you'll never see it. And and then and then they mold the distributor into the to the intake. I don't know. Maybe I'll build this one box stock. I don't remember if I did. I was talking about building my uh 55 panel box stock in case so I could enter it into Jaxcom, but I'm not, I don't remember if I ran plug wires on that or not. I'll have to look. I might build this one box stock, and if I can get it done in time, and if it turns out good, take it to Jaxcom. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get some parts glued together. Hey, if you had not subscribed already, really quick, hit that subscription button, guys. Helps me out a lot. I'm going to get some parts glued together, and I'll be back in just a flash. Stand by. All right, so here I am. Chassis is put together, and let me tell you, these little um, front end parts are very delicate, and you have to be super careful. It's they're really cool, very difficult to get to go in there and glue them. Um, what else? The engine is together for all the parts. At least I want to get painted. Got the seats together. They have to be. You know the two parts glued together 
Got the tail lights here on the chassis, or not the chassis, the uh, fender portion of the body. Got the little tail lights on because they're going to be body color as well as the license plate cover. Um, so this gives you like options for the running boards with the grooves in them or these smooth covers. I'm not going to use the smooth covers. I like the grooved running boards. Don't think I'm going to use bumpers on this though. It does give you an option to use the bumpers or not to use the bumpers. It's going to be a custom car with, so this is the way it looks with the bumpers. And I just like a, I don't know, I think it looks cool without them. So it's already molded in. The body is already molded in if you don't want to use them. And then you have to knock these little knockouts out if you want to use it. Also got the, the hood had to have a little bit of trimming to get the fit right. But these side portions, um, so the firewall's glued in. That that's You have to glue that in and it's body color anyway. And then these side panels, which go... The 37 has these going like that. So they, they meet right up on the fenders. And the hood actually, after the grill, this off this will probably fall right back off. Doing it one-handed. Oh come on. There's the grill. And there's a little hood. goes right on there like that so those little side panels are going to stay I've already got them glued on there I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it but I'm like I don't like so if it's painted body parts I like for them to be as complete as possible when they get paint that way you don't get you mess up get glue all over something or whatever and you'd have to super glue it anyway because it's going to be painted surfaces so I just went ahead and used the Tamiya glue got them glued on there let them set and um also with this one's kind of weird the 50 remember the 55 truck that heather built it had these little um door panels that seemed like an afterthought i don't think this one is an afterthought but they do fit in there rather peculiar they like there's no pins, there's no lines. They just they just go up in the body and, and, and you just glue them on. So I guess maybe they give you some leeway. I hope I get them right because once they're glued, they're glued. Anyway, it's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna get some paint on some parts. Get this body cleaned up, painted or primered. Choose one of these great MCW um, paint colors to paint it and we will see where we get. Stand by. So we got some parts painted. Um, where's the chassis go? Oh, it's over here. There's the chassis. Got it painted. Nice satin black. Got the engine is. I went red. Um, transmission also got painted red because it's made on it, but that will be a different color. Seats are a leather color as well as the, they're still wet, so I just sprayed them. But anyway, I wanted to go with sort of a leather color. These door panels are so they will be the detail in them is awesome because like the the window cranks and things are raised so much that to paint those, oh man, so cool. Like the door pulls, that would be like a black leather strap or something so cool um but i got those painted going with a i think i'm going to go where to put it well oh here it is i think my color i want to go with again that that rich leather color on the inside see the seats and all and i'm thinking i don't want to just go blue or something so i've got this mark sent me this willow green it is a very get the top off of this thing hold on just a second let we'll actually see the see the color oh man okay here watch me do this oh there we go so the color well that's pretty pretty much of an accurate oh, rep representation so it's an old timey type of color but i think with that and then the leather interior i don't know it may not look good 
I think it's going to look great. It's not a metallic paint. It's just a gloss. Very subtle green. Almost a almost has a gray tint to it. And I don't know what that will change if, when I spray it onto this gray primer. But we will see. We got this lid. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be nice. I may change my mind on the paint. Don't know if I will or not, but I've got other options, but they're like so. Let's see. I could paint it hemi orange. <laughs> that would be cool. Nassau blue metallic. It's a. And then I've got Highlands green metallic, which is a dark green metallic. Guardsman blue metallic. Gulfstream metallic. Blue fire metallic. Seafoam green metallic. Oh, sea frost green metallic. What is that? kind of a has a lot of silver in it i don't know i think i'm gonna go with the i think i'm gonna go with this willow willow green on this 37 um great kit really is S these monograms tend to be kind of simplistic whether I, I take that back the suspension not so simplistic but it does give you the old straight axle too you know you could have I could have built it that way. I wanted to, it doesn't give you a, a stock rear axle. So I'm like, why would I put the big independent stuff under the back and, and not uh, the, the new suspension under the front? So I went ahead and did that. Oh, by the way, I also painted the intake, primed it black, and then painted it with a aluminum metallic. I already got the carburetor on it, but I'm going to pull it. Obviously, I will... Uh, paint that misted the uh, paint on it so it gives it the shadow effect uh, the distributor is made into the intake so i'll be no i'm not i forgot i'm going to do this one box stock i'm not going to i'll paint the distributor but because i may want to enter this it, down at jack's con in box stock i don't really have anything box stock that i've recently built at built at all because i always like put plug wires but i don't do anything else so when you enter into the classes you you enter against people that have done like oh my goodness everything and I, i'm pretty sure bare metal foil is allowed in box stock i'll have to check that um but i'm pretty sure it is um but we will see but anyway all right so next step is just to get some color on this thing and uh i've got to let this this primer cure um, but yeah, get some color on it and, uh, we'll see what this thing looks like. So you guys, it's going to take me another day, but it's going to take you like another split second. So stand by. Well, I got, I guess I didn't actually tell you what color I was going to paint. I just assumed you thought that I was going to use the willow green, which I did. It looks, the color is phenomenal. I think it's going to be just perfect. To go with these leather seats oh man it's gonna look great that red engine block's gonna really pop too under the hood um i am painting the bottom side of this chassis or body body color rather than painting it black naturally the floorboards here will be will be black um i do have the running boards painted black so they'll go on there that will look great got some trash in the paint unfortunately so once this um once this cures i'm going to have to give it a wet sanding and a light uh, uh second coat I, I don't know where the the stuff was coming from i was talking with mark from hobby nut models just recently on the phone and talking about how you know get your trash gets in your in a in a regular paint booth sorry about the beeping that's my incubator in a regular paint booth you have filtered air coming in so you're you're void of the dust and things coming in um let me turn this off there it is right there 
So you're void of the dust coming in in a in a full size um, paint booth, but in a model paint booth, you're at uh, everything. Your clothes, you know, the dust that your clothes uh, has on them. I don't know what's a good way. Maybe take a uh, lint roller and roll your clothes down or something like that, or or maybe the heat hey, i've get so many distractions in my videos or so many disturbances i apologize phones incubators air or heaters but it's cold in here so i'm glad it turned on but anyway maybe you can put a tyvek suit on and that would help but probably not so you're just sucking directly from um the 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 uh sucking directly from the inside of the building and since i have a vacuum uh evacuation system it's drawing so anyway got a little trash in it that's no problem because i've noticed a second coat even makes it shine even more so that's what i'll do give it a nice second coat of willow green but i think this color is awesome when mark sent me this color i think he mentioned he's like this i, I feel like this would go good with an old car and it does it is just like that screams I'm from the 30s, which this is. Even though it's going to be a custom build, mild custom, you know, just a street rod, it still is a classic um, old timey color. Now the engine color obviously is not, and I know this bothers the mess out of some people, but how I attach the headers onto the engine before I, <laughs> I can get in there and I can paint those headers. You never would have known that those headers had not been painted. Let me turn this heater off. It's just a little loud to me. Yeah, I can get in there and paint these headers and you would never know that they were put on and painted with the, the engine color. Um, it's not a, it's not a, in my opinion, it's not a, cheap way of doing it or a lazy way of doing it i just don't like putting um trying to get you get the engine all decked out and then you got to try and put the headers on there and something goes wrong maybe the super glue or whatever you're using gets on something else i just i prefer not to so i don't have to worry about the smoke from the super glue because once you paint it you can't see that and it's already glued they're fixed on there and it's good to go um, actually, one of these I used Tamiya Thin and the other I used super, super Glue just to go ahead and get it on there faster. But I'm going to wind this down as part one of the, let's see, 37 Ford Sedan by Monogram. Classic Cruiser. One thing I want to say about this kit, it reminds me so much, not in its physical form, but it reminds me so much of the 55 uh, either the 55 panel or the 55 uh, pickup by monogram because the the molds were so well done the lines are so crisp the uh, panel lines are so deep you don't have to go in and scribe anything they're so deep they're already um they're just outstanding those old mon well i wouldn't say those old monogram kits but this this kit says made in china 2010 but anyway just an outstanding kit very simplistic as far as the parts go i mean literally i built the chassis here's the chassis you've got a few extra parts here and there's some parts here on the uh, painting uh alligator clips that i've got to got to paint but or i've um, got you know you have to assemble but it's a low parts count kit quality is outstanding and i just can't wait to to get this thing get the paint finished and get it together i do plan on it being totally box stock with no plug wires or anything um because i want to enter it in if if it turns out i want to enter it down in jackscon in the box stock class um, i don't do a lot of customizing so just box stock right out of the box is what i want to do um, but I have one question for you guys and I talked with Fred Henry last night on the phone But I have he sent me a link and I have I have yet to look at it It's an IPMS show the Jaxcon show is I want to know one thing from you guys You guys who know the rule the ins and outs of IPMS rules 
I know that box stock, you can't have plug wires or anything, anything additional. It has to be as it came out of the box. But can I bare metal foil? Can I do bare metal foil or do I have to paint the trim? So would you guys reply to me and let me know that? Because I don't want to do something that's going to kick me out of the box stock class. So just if you guys in the comments would let me know. The comment section is so helpful um, because all you have to do is ask and you get so many responses. So thank you guys for all, all the responses there. Um, again, thanks guys for subscribing. I want to, I want to end this video and say this. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, 8,100 and some odd subscribers at this point growing. It's just amazing. It, I'm thankful for you guys that have stuck with me. Um, I do see every once in a while a sub, a sub drops off, you know, but for that one sub dropping off, there's a hundred that come on board. So thank you so much for all you guys do as far as supporting me on this channel. I try to keep it entertaining. I may fail. I may say things that, that aren't necessarily uh, not, I'm not saying they're not true, but like I may mess up and say something and it's, it's not accurate rather. Um, but I do try to give you uh, informative content, uh, maybe a little entertaining. Uh, I not, don't necessarily mean to be entertaining, but I'm glad that I am from, from what I hear. But I do thank you guys for subscribing. Also, go to the Facebook group. Go over there and join the Facebook group. I'm having a great time there. This car will be, obviously, will be on there. I may even take a snapshot of these parts sitting here like this and put it on the Facebook group as soon as I get done with this video. But uh, go over to the Facebook group and join model car videos Facebook group found in the description below the video if you're on your computer or your phone you can find that right there click the link and you can go right over the model car videos Facebook group and join um, as well as hobby nut models guess where this kit came from yes it came from hobby nut models I just got another one in the mail uh, recently that was not from hobby nut but this one did come from hobby nut I believe it doesn't matter I got one of these from hobby nut um, and uh, go over to Hobby Nut Models, check out Mark's inventory, grab you some of this great MCW paint. You may want to get you some of this uh, Willow Green. If you have an older, an old kit like this that you want a classic color, Willow Green looks like a great one. Thanks for sending that over, Mark. Go over there and check out uh, Hobby Nut Models. Grab a kit, grab some supplies, paint, glue, everything you need. Also, check out the Teespring store. Go over, uh, link in the description, Teespring store, go check out and grab you a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a long sleeve shirt, hoodie, um, uh, coffee mugs, things like that. Uh, all of those purchases truly support this channel and allow me to continue to make great content. Also, 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 I have so many also's. Uh, as well as, how about that? How, that? That sounds better. As well as, go check out the Patreon page. Uh, I forget how many members I've got right now. Less than 10, I believe. But thank you guys for, for subscribing or taking being a member of the Patreon page. It truly, every cent counts. Um, trust me, okay? Trust me. I'm not filling my pockets. This is truly a, uh, 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 the, the revenue that comes in goes back into this to this hobby, to this channel. And again, it allows me to create content. Thank you guys for supporting me. Go to the Patreon uh, link in the description below. Join. It's like five bucks a month for the minimum. You can give all you want, but I think five bucks will get you in. And I try to get you some behind-the-scenes footage, some you know stuff that that everyone else on YouTube's not going to see. Uh, I'll try to do that on a regular basis. But thank you guys for the you that have uh, joined Patreon and everybody. If you can't afford Patreon, I don't. That's fine. Support me here. Continue to watch these videos. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And guys, I'm so thankful for all you do. Thanks a lot for watching. And until part two, we'll see you guys later. You guys take care. Bye.